constantly remember it. Um, we just, um, we talked, you talked a little bit about before, I'm trying to combine some of these questions to get through a lot of them, but um, we talked a little bit before about decriminalizing marijuana and you all talked a little bit about crime in your community. So I just take a minute, I think, um, to respond on your position on gun control. If you support limiting guns, um, gun purchases, those kinds of things. So um, however you want to open it up, there's a couple of combined questions on that. And I think, where am I at? Um, Mr. Hoffman? Dan? <laughs> Whatever, we're all friends up here, right? <laughs> 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 We're going to stay friends for another half hour, right? So, all right, we'll go to Mr. Honorado for sure. Uh, when I announced my candidacy uh, for governor and, and I was running around the state, uh, in my announcement, I made it very clear that uh, it's time that uh, we look at uh, serious uh, gun uh, regulations, especially with the most recent Supreme Court case that allows you to look at reasonable gun regulations. And in Pennsylvania, in running for governor, I made it clear that uh, I, I do support uh, and I will help with Lost and stolen, with child safety law, uh, with local option if it can't be done statewide, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because the the world the world's changing out there. In the last two years, Philadelphia, for example, there were there were 17 uh, police officers shot and killed in an 18 month period. In Allegheny County, there were four shot and killed in the last six months. The Murder rate throughout the state, while it's not going up, is still there in all involves guns. So while we have a great and long history of hunting in the state, uh, I think we can balance the two interests and deal with reasonable regulations. And that's what I would support as governor. Mr. We have the highest murder rate with the use of guns uh, for African Americans uh, in Philadelphia, anywhere in the country. Right here in Pennsylvania, in Harrisburg, excuse me, we have one of the highest rates uh, with the use of guns for murder um, for the general population. Uh, guns are getting into the wrong hands in Pennsylvania. Uh, when I was the president of Pittsburgh City Council years ago, I was the original advocate and passed a law to ban assault weapons before it happened at the federal level. But at the same time, I'm, I'm very practical about this issue. I support the Second Amendment. But we must keep guns out of the hands of bad people, people who are psychologically deranged, people who want to kill people. Uh, so we have to do everything as a commonwealth to do that. We have to do that in terms of working with local governments. And we have to be reasonable as to how we pass gun laws. Obviously, one of the worst situations in this commonwealth and in this country is the availability of, of straw purchases of guns. And it's people buying guns to sell them to bad people. And we have to do everything in our power to prevent that from happening. Uh, yes, I believe in gun control, and I think the state should pass enabling legislation to allow communities to define for themselves what they would like for gun in their communities. The state is very diverse, but obviously there are cities in this state that are challenged tremendously. The nation have the right to determine what the sale of guns gun should be in their community. I also want to mention this. In Scranton, we have a low murder rate, and we've done things differently. I live near, near cities that have high murder rate. You know, through zoning and enforcement and blight control, you can stay ahead of the curve. It is very challenging today, especially in the urban environment, that the use of guns to settle anything, whether it's the action of a crime or to settle a domestic dispute. In the time that I've been mayor, there have been 16 homicides in eight years. And the majority of them have been domestic disputes, people settling arguments with a gun. And it usually is a murder-suicide. After the act is committed, I can't believe what they've just done. So we need to control it. I'm a big supporter also of one gun a month. You know, the idea that my wife and I can only get 24 guns in a year is uh, unbelievable to me. I don't think that's too much of a restriction. Mr. Hall. Uh, I also support gun safety legislation. I agree with my colleagues on that. Uh, one gun a month is sensible. Uh, requiring reporting of all 
lost in stolen guns is sensible. Um, the, the child safety locks are, th these are sensible, rational proposals that will make the use of guns safer. Uh, I supported the closing the gun show loophole as a member of Congress. As I look back on how long this fight has gone on, uh, it is frustrating that we haven't made more progress. But uh, this, this is an effort that has to continue. The next governor has to continue it. We, we certainly need to allow local municipalities to pass their own laws. And frankly, the state needs to pass a law requiring reporting of laws to stolen guns. Uh, we, we, we need to move this ball forward and make the economy a safe.